Hey everyone, my name is Leah. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here and welcome back to all my subscribers. I just washed my hair and I am going to try to do a slick bun, ponytail bun with flaxseed gel. So I just made this flaxseed gel. This is what it looks like. So I did make my own flaxseed gel and I put um, grapeseed oil in it because I freaking love grapeseed oil. I've been using it on my skin lately so instead of lotion. It smells like baby throw up. <laughs> um, actually, it smells like plain oats. That's what it smells like. It smells like some very plain oatmeal. I guess now would be a good time to finally have a talk that I've been meaning to have. So I've been holding off on this talk because when I talk to my friends about my YouTube channel and how I want to talk about more serious things on my YouTube channel, my friends are just telling me that I should just do it. But the reason why I haven't done it is because I feel like, don't get me wrong, I, I'm very grateful for how much my channel has grown. Like This time last year I had only 100 subscribers and now I'm at almost 5,000. And that's basically it, it growing 50 times <laughs> the amount that I had last year. And I'm extremely grateful, but I feel like in order to, for me to speak about what I want to speak about, I would need, I want more of a conversation. And I don't feel like I get that kind of, those kind of conversations in my comments. But then again, it's also because I speak about very shallow things, or actually I don't even speak about things at all. I just kind of come on YouTube and do hair and makeup stuff. I don't really talk, so you guys don't really know much about me. And my eyes red because I got, oh, it's getting worse. Um, I had got some shampoo in my eye when I was washing my hair. Wow, I've never seen my eye that red. Okay, so I'm going to moisturize my hair with uh, what I always use, Curls Unleashed, ORS Curls Unleashed. And you guys know I, have, I put my scrunchie on my bottle, so I always know where they are. the engagement that I would like but I, then I realized through conversation with my friends that I won't have that engagement unless the conversation is brought up because when I'm talking to my camera right now I'm not I'm technically waiting on your further responses I mean I always knew that I'm not talking I'm not talking to anyone until you know the conversation until the video is posted a lot of times I just kind of want that immediate feedback and then my friend was like well why don't you start going on lives and I'm like, well, no one really knows to watch my lives yet. And then once again, you have to put the content out there for you to get the res the, the um, responses that you're looking for, right? I wanted to start up a segment on my YouTube called Table Talk because you guys know that I call my channel The Table and I call my subscribers my besties. Oh, this is actually disgusting. Oh, wow. A little goes a long way with this. I forgot what it's like using flaxseed in my hair. Initially, I wanted my first table talk to be something light um, because I just wanted to gauge my audience and see what kind of responses I would get without it being such a heavy conversation. Because I also realized that last summer, I had posted, it's like my most, one of, it's, it's quickly becoming my most popular video on my channel. I'm not necessarily proud of it because I wouldn't want, this is going to so many different topics I wanna talk about. It's it's not a, it's not so necessarily a, a type of video that I would want my grandmother to see because my family is very old fashioned and they would just see one title and not even try to watch the video to understand what's going on within it and they would just make their automatic judgment without trying to understand the full picture. So oh my gosh, this is this is beautiful. I realized that the videos where I'm talking and I'm explaining something, not just like explaining something, but I'm like talking to people and it can cause a conversation has done well on my channel previously. At the time that I recorded the video, I did not think that it would get the, the response that it would. I did not think that it would do as well as it did. Um, but it was also something that I, I thoroughly enjoyed doing. So I don't regret it. I just wouldn't do it again. I do really, really like the conversation that it has created for the people who actually watched the entire video and not just make their, you know, their 
horrible judgments and I do want to continue more conversations like it because I do not want my channel to just be another black YouTube another black beauty youtuber you know the first segment of the table talk that I wanted to do signs he she is a signs they are a fuckboy slash girl um, I felt like that's that type of conversation is relatable to a lot of people so that's a really light conversation to have as my first table talk I didn't want to dive into something like deep as fuck oh and then also my table talks were going to work are not were my table talks are going to be somewhere where I can speak about shit that I want to speak about as well as cuss because people who know me like know me know me know that I curse a, a lot um it's not something that I'm necessarily I'm particularly proud of and I did challenge myself I said this on my YouTube channel I said this on my channel last year that I was challenging myself to stop cursing and I have not cursed at all in my videos since then but in doing so I feel like I'm limiting myself and my authenticity on YouTube so I'm like having like a balance between being child friendly on YouTube as well as being myself and it's hard to do that when I'm like limiting myself oh this feels great it's kind of hard to do that when I'm like limiting myself and in limiting myself I'm creating a different persona and I don't like that um another table talk I'm just gonna tell you guys a few of the conversations that I want to have on my table talks um and let me know what you guys think about it so another table talk conversation I was thinking on having was I didn't necessarily know what to call this one as a title I just know what I want to talk about in it and what I want to cover in it is mental health in the black community and the lack of support with mental health and just basically that mental health does not exist in the black community and what it can do to a person for example 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 depression as a black child does not exist being stressed out in a black household does not exist because it's like what are you what, what can you possibly be stressed about i want to talk about that as well as the effects that it can cause on said child as you guys can probably tell, I cannot I cannot talk about shit and do my hair at the same time. It just, it just doesn't work out. So I don't know how I do the table talks. I don't know if I'll do them um, in a group setting. If I'll do them by myself while doing a hair video or a makeup video or vlog style. I don't know what I'll do. I love, love, love hair and makeup, but I do not want that to be the center of my channel. And I do also want to be more male friendly. Cussing, not being able to talk about things that I want to talk about, um, holding myself back, lack of authenticity, all that stuff, right? So I'm not going to say that I'm going to go back to cursing up a storm because it's really not cute. But I used to watch my footage back and be like, no, honey. Mm -mm, that's not cute and I don't curse as much anymore which is great but I still do curse also my most viewed videos are videos that I was completely myself my goofy awkward self and I did not edit out as many things as I do now and it's funny because in every video every single video i end my video with a reminder to my viewers and myself and that's to stay true and to stay you and i feel like in my videos i've lost that aspect of myself because i'm just trying to be basically like every other fucking youtuber and i'm not i want people to come to my channel because they know it's about to be some good shit they enjoy my personality and whatnot like most of the most of the videos that I get people saying subbed OMG love your personality definitely subscribing are videos where I was 1000% myself and I just didn't give a shit about how loud I was being in my house about <laughs> me looking a fool on camera because I'm gonna look a fool regardless so I wanted to start up that series as you guys probably noticed I brought vlog I brought vlogs back I had friends um tell me like yo like we we enjoy the authenticity of your vlogs 
and you showing us things that were going on in your life you showing us that your car got your car broke down you showing us that you went to go spend a thousand you had to go pay a thousand dollars um for tickets to get your car back after it was told like real life shit like that all of those things but at the same time i kind of felt like I was just vlogging a lot of negative stuff, but that was my truth at the time. So I'm going to try to do weekly vlogs because when I was watching my vlogs, they weren't daily. They were recorded several days at a time. So I wanted to create a consistent upload schedule. I haven't come up with the days of the week yet, but I know for sure I want to upload about three times a week because I want to be more consistent. I was going to do a vlog in which I call it cinematic transparency and it's not a, it's not that's not the title of the vlog I mean like all of my vlogs I want to be transparent in a cinematic way because I really really like filmmaking and cinematography so I want my vlogs to have some aspects of cinematography in it if you guys noticed in the last one I keep referencing it because that's when I've done it the most not the most my birthday vlog i did it kind of uh, i kind that was when i was first learning about it and i kind of did it with that and then the vlog that i recently did i did like some b-roll but i want to get more into it because I, in order for me to like grow and learn is for me to actually do it so that's what i'm gonna do um that's one video a week then i'm gonna have the, the table talks where we talk about deep shit or not so deep shit depending on what you guys want me to talk about whatever you guys want to hear my opinions on as well as i still want to keep a beauty aspect to my channel because i like doing it so i'm gonna keep doing it oh so it doesn't have to be hair every week it can be makeup if i get better at it it could be skincare as my skin gets better i'll let you guys in on that journey it could be hair growth because i do want to start a hair growth um challenge um and i want people to do it with me um something cute could also be fitness because I'm now plant-based and that kind of stuff and trying to work out better and eat, you know, obviously eat way better, um, work out, stuff like that. So um, once a week for each of those kind of different things and that way I can also grow my audience. I can have different people on my channel based on certain days of the week. They know like if you're a guy and you're more so into, into the vlogs or more so into the, to the table talks, then you'll come on my channel for those specific days. And if you're a girl, and you just like them all, you can come three times a week. Um, so yeah, I'm also going to try to be more consistent on my Instagram. Because I don't really post that often on my Instagram. But at the same token, I don't really take any pictures. So you're, that's the it. You guys are interested in all that stuff. Please do not forget to subscribe. Like the button to subscribe is literally like right there. I don't like begging for people to subscribe to my channel. Because I feel like if you generally are interested or entertained by me you will do it on your own volition you wouldn't need me to constantly say it in the video you know what I mean see I feel like I said everything that I need to say while I was not doing my hair and now I don't know what to talk about all these ponytails I'm putting in my hair they're all gonna come out tomorrow after my hair has set in this ponytail Okay, I'm done. Yeah, that's about it with this look, guys. It did hold. It does hold. It's not as, like, as you can see, like, there's, like, some fuzzies over there. I don't mind the fuzzies because it's a healthier alternative to using gels that have alcohols and things that are drying to your hair. This is actually moisturizing my hair. And my hair feels really good. Like, my hair feels great. I hope this video was informative. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please let me know what you guys think about my the table talks that I was talking about while I was actually doing this. Please let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on it? Please let me know if you guys would like me to do them. Um, yeah, I just want your feedback. Give this, give this video a thumbs up. That helps you to recommend this video to other people on YouTube. Um, I say that every time. Um, subscribe if that's what you're into. I'm not gonna force you, but I think you should subscribe. <laughs> so until next time, stay true, stay you, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.